What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to install the latest version of Eclipse IDE. So if you haven't downloaded the IDE in your computer, you can download the Eclipse IDE at eclipse.org. Go to downloads and download the latest version of the IDE. Go here and download the this one, the download this button. And before that, we need we also need to install the Java in our computer. Go to oracle.com and download the Java 17 or 18. And if you use Linux, Mac OS, Windows, download the installer here. This one or this one. All right, and let's get started. So here I am going to open my installer and install the Eclipse IDE. All right. And after you open the IDE, this window will show. You can choose what IDE you want to install. And in this case, I'm going to install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And click on that. So if you install the Java in your system, it will automatically fetch the path here. So I'm going to use this one, Java 17.3, and installation folder, I'm going to uh, leave that default and create start menu entry, create desktop shortcut and install. So I'm going to accept now. All right, it is now installing. And let's wait it until it's done. So installing the Eclipse IDE, you need to have an active internet connection to download the artifacts from the internet, from its server. All right, and the installation is completed successfully. And we can launch the IDE and click here. So select a directory as workspace. So the workspace, I need to select the brow and browse and create the directory here. I think I'm going to create a new folder, Java projects, and this one will be Eclipse. All right, and select that and launch. All right and this is it so let's create a new java project you can go at the package explorer right here and create a java project or go to file and click new and java project so i am going to um so i'm going to name our project to hello and use the GRE here and select the preferred GRE here. So in this case, I'm going to select the this one and project layout, I'm going to use the default one and click on next and finish. So here I'm going to create a new Java class. I'm going to name this to hello. 
hello world select the public as modifier and check this to create the main class and finish so that's it and let's uh, create the system out to print the land and print the hello world system that out the print ln and let's print the hello world and run this program click this button right here to run the program okay and the output is hello world all right that's it and i hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you in the next video